Police are focusing all of their attention on that one home behind me. Inside is where they found one man dead. This deadly barricade situation has rocked this community. Police have spent hours here on Finley Square. It all ended at that home at the corner. You'll see damage like this, a complete disaster. Homes completely toppled by trees and limbs around the corner from this home. Several cars are damaged as well. The family that lives inside this home says if it wasn't for one of their cell phones going off in the middle of the night, they may not be here to talk about it. Hampton officials say here comes that wind again, you all. This is something these people are going to have to deal with. These residents are going to have to deal with for maybe the next day or two. Here in Newport News, 8 to 10 inches of snow. But the challenge many public works crews face are the cold temperatures, so it'll take some time to get these roads clear. As you can imagine, David, as more and more people started to come and leave the visitor center, news spread quickly. I can see a, a shock on some people's faces. It's been more than 24 hours since that devastating helicopter crash. City leaders say there's been quite a bit of illegal activity and loitering in this field behind me and behind this old vacant building. Ernie, you guys may not believe it until you actually see it, but dead fish are everywhere here at Buckrow Beach. The story doesn't end there. Those blue and red lights came on again. City Council already approved the project and the road is currently funded for in part by VDOT. All they need now is permission from the Commonwealth Transportation Board to create an access to Hampton Road Center Parkway. So Shot Spotter quickly pinpoints where the gunshots are coming from. It gets officers to that specific area. Now with this new ordinance, there are several restrictions, like the owner has to be at the home when they have guests, and you can only rent out one room in your house. You can see Bartlett already has surveillance inside his business, but after something like this, he plans to strengthen his security. Yeah, Janet, it's already starting to fill up here at Langley Speedway, and more cars are expected to fill this lot before the day is over. Now, many of these people are coming from Pocosin. I'm in Hampton right now in Pocosin. They expect quite a bit of tidal flooding. All eyes are on Hurricane Dorian. One final grass cut. Andy Corbett has lived in Pocosin his whole life. He says it doesn't take much for the streets to flood. Could be a strong nor'easter. Could be just a combination of tide and moon. Corbett says preparation is key. Everything that could blow around, get picked up, and come through a window kind of tied down and put up. Tracy Lovejoy and others at NW Purdue are bagging up sandbags to sell. It's something to help. Nobody else here does it. A sign that sits on this telephone pole in Pocosin shows how high the water got during Hurricane Isabel 16 years ago. In the Veterans Day storm in 2009, Corbett says whatever happens this time, they're ready. If it looks like it's even going to be remotely close to Isabel, I put them in the car and send them out west. But the last text message was, I love you, Ma. I love you too, Ray Ray. I'm going to always love my son. They took my soul. They took it and I can't get it back. Funny, spontaneous, full of life. That's how Vion Bugs describes her 17-year-old son, Raekwon Peterson. Those guns. <sighs> Peterson didn't live to see his 18th birthday next month. Someone gunned him down at 7-Eleven on Kickatan Road. But they took a part of me that I could never get back again. I'm never going to get that back. I'm never going to have that peace. I'm never going to be able to sleep. I'm never going to be the same for my last two kids. But as a person, I got to keep going. I, gotta, I can't give up here. Peterson just graduated Hampton High School, was working two jobs, and had a bright future ahead of him. Bugs says the bond between her and her son, Ray Ray, was unexplainable. She says he can make anyone laugh. And I was listening to Lauren Hill. And I had it like on 1,000, and he got out the car. He like, Ma, why are you singing that song like that? Like you going through something? And I'm like, I don't gotta be going through nothing, right, right? You know, it's just I feel the music, but I'm gonna miss my baby. Bug says her son got his image and personality from his dad, who everyone knows. With that being said, she says Raekwon was equally well known. Everybody know B.J. Son, all up and down timeline, all up and down Facebook, all up and down Snapchat. Raekwon's name is forever etched on Bugs' arm and in her heart. I'm telling you, they stole a part of this city that we are never going to get back. Beyond Bugs says they're working on a possible vigil and gathering this weekend for her son. It would be right here, right across the street from where he died. In Hampton, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.
a community in disbelief. Shocking. Parents in New Kent County uneasy tonight. Investigators say Matthew Duckworth sent several inappropriate pictures to one of his students at New Kent High School. He allegedly sent them through several social media apps, including Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Scary. Court documents say a 16 year old girl told investigators her teacher started sending the pictures back in August. He also offered the teenager crushed up Xanax pills at one point. The young girl went on to say in September, Duckworth hugged her in school without her consent. A grand jury indicted Duckworth a week ago. He didn't believe it. Wanda Hackett says Duckworth was her son's earth science teacher two years ago. Because he said he was a great teacher, he always pushed him. You know, to do better. The sheriff says he anticipates more people coming forward and reporting inappropriate contact or uncomfortable situations with Duckworth. If our community sees it, we need to know about it. Hackett's daughter goes to the middle school. She's already warning her daughter about the dangers of social media. And if she is ever in that situation, she needs to say something. Well, it's very concerning that it could happen over there as well. I mean, you don't know. And Duckworth is no longer employed by the school system. A judge set a $25,000 secured bond for Duckworth this afternoon. He's not allowed any communication with the alleged victim or anyone under the age of 18. He's also not allowed to use any electronic devices. He's expected back in court January 7th. In New Kent County, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.